Hi, I'm Tom Henriksen from the DevOps Online Summit. Welcome to our Community Promoter Spotlight. Today we have with us, excuse me, today we have with us Bill Mulligan from the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Bill, introduce yourself to the people here at the DevOps Online Summit. Hi, uh, I'm Bill Mulligan. I currently work in community engagement at the CNCF. So working on kind of like the fun stuff in the community, connecting with a lot of people and working on some of the strategic areas that we're going, including uh, telcos and edge computing. Excellent, excellent. So you mentioned the Cloud Native Computing Foundation or CNCF, Bill. I'm guessing some people know about it, but not everybody. So just kind of level set us and tell us about what it is and all the parts of it, because it's a, it's a pretty big foundation. Yeah, absolutely. So I think a lot of people right now know about the CNCF as the foundation that originally began with Kubernetes. And I think that's where we did begin. But today, it really encompasses so much more. And it really stretches across the spectrum from the hardware all the way up to the application delivery. I think what people can think about is if you want to build modern cloud native infrastructure, CNCF hosts the projects and technologies that you're going to use to build your technology stack. So it hosts the projects and the foundational technologies that can be put together uh, into building a really cloud native and modern IT stack. Excellent. So tell us about how the CNCF came about. Yeah, so this was before my time at CNCF, so I, I only know what other people have told me. Um, but at the time when uh, Google first open source Kubernetes, they're looking mm -hmm. for a place to put the project. And they uh, put, decided to create a new foundation under the Linux Foundation called the Cloud Native Computing Foundation and really seeing it as a home uh, to bring together people around modern like cloud native uh, and containerized technologies. And so when it really began with Kubernetes, um, it has really expanded into so much more around the whole open infrastructure space. Yeah, so you're part of then the Linux Foundation with, the, and I know there's other things there too, but that's, you know, that encompasses a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. The Linux Foundation has become, I guess, really a foundation of foundations. So mm -hmm. there's, I actually don't know the exact number of foundations under the Linux Foundation, but it's a lot encompassing a lot of different things from securing the open source, uh, like software supply chain to uh, different foundations focus on specific industries like LF networking. So mm -hmm. Linux Foundation today is really so much more than just Linux. Yeah. Yeah, I know I've talked to the people at the CDF too, and I think they're in a similar yeah. setup as you guys, right? <laughs> Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another sub foundation of the Linux foundation. Yeah. So Bill, tell us about what types of events you guys have at the CNCF. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, just like our technologies really uh, go the whole uh, breadth mm -hmm. of cloud native, I think our events also go the whole breadth of cloud native too. Um, and so we have a variety of different ways that people can connect and collaborate with each other. And so starting like really back down at the like local community level, there are a lot of uh, cloud native meetups uh, in cities around the world. And those are all now hosted on our cloud native community platform. And so if you go to community.cncf.io, you can find one in your local area. And this is, you know, classic like month monthly meetup. Then kind of like the next level up when people are want wanting to uh, organize something a little bit bigger, we actually provide a platform for that people that want to do that too. And these are called our Kubernetes community days. And these are regional events that bring people together um, around cloud native technology to share their ideas and connect and collaborate with one another. And so this program uh, was obviously put on pause last year, um, but is now uh, relaunching and I'm really excited to see where it goes and especially the new areas that it, it is expanding into. We actually just had one in El Salvador. Uh, there's another one being planned for Africa. And so I think I think you can really see kind of the, the global breadth of uh, CNCF coming out. Um, then uh, kind of on top of the KCDs, we will have our uh, basically highlight events, uh, which is KubeCon Cloud Native Con, which I'm actually wearing the t-shirt of right now. Um, and so we focus, this is where uh, kind of like our biggest events of the year. The last one, KubeCon North America was virtual and it had over 20,000 people attending. So mm -hmm. There's three throughout the year. There's EU, North America, and China. Uh, EU is usually 
in the spring around like April, May timeframe. Uh, North America is in the fall. Um, so this year it's in October, usually it's in like November or December. And China is somewhere in between. Um, and so this kind of gives us a really strong base to bring people uh, together across all these areas. And then also connected with KubeCon mm -hmm. are co-located events. And this is kind of new and emerging technologies where people wanted to come together. So some super exciting ones for KubeCon EU is like Kubernetes on the Edge, mm -hmm. Cloud Native uh, Wasm Day, and also Cloud Native Rust Day. So I think there's a lot of exciting technologies bubbling up around Cloud Native too. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like you guys have a lot of different things to offer to, like you mentioned, lots of different, you know, regions and then different technologies. So you guys are busy. Yeah, that's one way to put it. A little, just a little bit busy. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, I like how you have engagement at, you know, the local level and then you kind of work it all the way up to the major events. So you kind of have place to meet people wherever they're at and, you know, kind of depending on probably their level of expertise. And that's that's great. Yeah, absolutely. So as you guys, you have a few big initiatives, you're trying to educate professionals. You mentioned something there, Bill, that we're all kind of dealing with in this, this pandemic era. So you guys, what types of things have you guys had to flex or change to really help engage the people you serve? Yeah, I, I think the, the biggest change obviously has been we can't meet in person. Uh, KubeCon pre-pandemic was the largest open source conference in the world. The last one in Seattle wow. had over 12,000 attendees wow. in person. Um, so yeah, kind of shifting that all to virtual has been a big transition, but I think it's also been like really positive for the community because it allows uh, so much, so many more people to access the platform and access the community. And so, well, I think COVID has had a lot of negatives. It's also had, I think, some positives in being able to provide new ways of interaction and mm -hmm. increasing accessibility for a lot of communities that uh, didn't quite have that um, before. Um, so I think that's super good. Uh, another thing that we're actually kind of like seeing right now is actually the growth into kind of like live streaming uh, or like live options. So we actually just recently launched uh, cloudnative.tv, uh, which is, you can think of it as like the Cloud Native Disney Plus, your place to go and home for cloud native content. Uh, Right now we have one show called This Week in Cloud Native. And I think the uptake uh, in it has been actually like pretty impressive, or pretty amazing. And a lot of people really want to engage with the projects and the communities and see what is going on in Cloud Native uh, and stay up to date. Excellent, excellent. You've shared a lot with us, Bill. Any closing thoughts? Oof. Stumped you there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, closing thought, uh, come to KubeCon. It's really cool. Uh, and the, the pro tip for the insiders is find the hallway track. Um, mm -hmm. cause that's the really fun place. I mean, people don't go to conference. They, they go for the talks, but the, the fun part right, is talking with people. So yeah. KubeCon also has the hallway track. Mm -hmm. Make sure you find it. Cause that's the best place I think to connect, uh, with other people in the cloud native community. Yeah, that's so true, Bill. You, you, that those conversations that just kind of spring up. I know we, we do on the DevOps Online Summit, we have our Slack channel and just the conversations that will go up on there too is a great way to people to kind of interact. Um, and, and that's one of the things we, I suppose we kind of struggle with in this online world is to kind of foster those. I know we've had some lean coffees and things like that to bring kind of the professionals together, but that's, it's great to connect with people you might not normally see in your everyday work, right? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, Bill. Yeah, thank you. On behalf of Bill Mulligan, I am Tom Henriksen for the DevOps Online Summit.